Hey YouTube, my name is Anthony and this is my very first video. I just want to say God bless you. May our Lord and Savior Jesus watch over you. And I have felt compelled to make this video for a long time. And as you know, Satan is at work in this world we live in. He's at work 24-7. He never stops. And the Bible tells us that the only weapon we have against him is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Bible. Because he can read our minds. He knows us better than we know ourselves. He knows our thoughts. How do we fight an enemy like that? With the word. That's the only way. I have been praying about this video for a long time. And so I woke up this morning ready to make the video. Got prayed up. Ready to go. Went to my computer. My computer's down. Checked my internet connection. Nothing. The modem, nothing. Satan does not want me to make this video. So I called my cable provider and they said, oh yeah, there's a an internet outage in your area. Yeah, go figure. Get behind me, Satan. I rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. So here I am on my iPhone making this video because with everything that's happening in the world lately it needs to be made. There are others on the internet, on YouTube that have made videos very similar to this and I feel as though God is compelling me to finally make this video. I have had recent visions and dreams lately from the Lord and I've confirmed all these with the Holy Spirit to make sure that they're coming from the Lord in a place of good not from a place of bad now let's go to the word I picked up the Bible this morning I was reading and um, Isaiah and one of my side notes in my study Bible says um, what exactly is a vision, a supernatural revelation, message or insight communicated through images seen only within a person's mind or spirit. The pictures seen in a vision may illustrate spiritual truths or future events. Now, can anyone have visions or are these reserved for prophets only? Numbers 12, 6 identifies a prophet as someone to whom God reveals himself in visions and dreams. There you go. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my rapture dream. I've had five or six visions and dreams in the past year, but I thought this would be my first it happened March 5th, 2013, at approximately 2.15 a.m. After this, I woke up, walked into the kitchen, and wrote it down because I didn't want to forget any part of it. So I'm just going to read what I wrote down, and then we'll discuss it. Rapture Dream. I felt this incredible energy surge in my body and I started floating up. Then all of a sudden I could see people being swallowed up by big holes in the earth and falling into fire. I then went down a long hole and was quote unquote purified by fire. I reached the bottom and stood up. My knees were shaking but I felt amazing. The whole time I was falling, I just kept praying and saying, singing songs to God. 
When I got to the bottom, I stood up. I walked down a long hallway to a room where there was one man and one woman. And they were leading a group of people like five or ten of us. The man told me twice that when we were doing all this kind of stuff, that we were doing it together. I got up and walked away past all of our clothes that were laying on the ground. And we had robes on, but I wasn't sure where we were going. The man just told me that we were going together. I heard my cell phone beep twice and I felt like I was being pulled back to present time. And I said I didn't want to leave, but God's will be done, not mine. And I woke up. I did ask the girl who was with us in the group, and I said, I asked her, did I die or was I raptured? She smiled at me and said, I can't tell you that. Everybody looked to me like we were all in our early to mid twenties. We were all young, happy, smiley, beautiful, and I was so deeply happy. I was in awe and I was shaking peacefully. So that was my first rapture dream. I just remember specifically the points of floating up in the air. I remember looking down on the ground to my left and there were these what looked like graves that were open, but there was fire coming out of them. And we were, I was thrust into it. I, I, I was I, I was, I like flew into it and I flew through the fire and I felt like I was, you know, quote unquote, purified by fire. And then I ended up in this room with these two, what I thought were angels, but they didn't have wings. Not, not that I remember. And, um, I just found it funny that when I, when I asked the male and I asked the female, I asked them both, I said, what are we doing? Where are we going? They just kept saying, don't worry about it. Just whatever we do, we're doing it together. It seemed like we were in this room and they were teaching us different things that we were to learn. That's all I really have when it comes to that particular dream, that particular vision. I just want everybody to know that I love all of you and as a Christian the Bible tells us not only will our time here on earth be rough at times but it promises us that we will go through trials, that we will be tested. I hear a lot of my non-Christian slash atheist friends or acquaintances that I know and they say stuff like, well, if God really exists, how can he allow all the terrible stuff to happen on earth? And I tell them, I said, God doesn't allow that stuff to happen. We allow it. Sin allows it. The way God designed everything, it was meant to be perfect. We were meant to be in the Garden of Eden with him. We were meant to live forever. Our bodies were never meant to die. And we disobeyed God. And we fell from his grace when we sinned. That's why all the bad stuff happens in this world. 
It's because it is a fallen, sinful world that we live in. And we've been trying to get back to God ever since. But thank the Lord for our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has made the way back to the Father. Only through Him are we saved. And only through Him are our sins forgiven. I pray to God that His will be done in my life, not mine. I just want you to know that I feel as though a lot of people feel that we are living in end times. Now I know people have been saying that for hundreds if not thousands of years that revelation seems to keep happening through the ages, you know, wars, rumors of wars, famines, tough times. But I mean, let's face it, folks. From everything that's been happening, the increasingly crazy weather, the hurricanes, the earthquakes, the famines, the fact that now we've taken prayer out of school, the fact that now gay marriage is being legalized. I mean, this stuff is getting out of hand. But luckily, we have a God who's in charge, and He knows exactly what He's doing. Amen. There are, will be more videos to come. I have, I think, four maybe five more visions that I've had that I want to share with you. May the peace and love of our God and our Savior Jesus Christ be with you. Stay strong. Keep up the good fight. Our reward is coming. Amen.